This story is about the return of the research vessel Atlantis and the manned submersible Alvin to Woods Hole in the fall of 2010. Alvin is better known to most of us for dives in 1986 with Bob Ballard on the wreckage of the Titanic, which had been discovered the year before. We start off with the popular Nopska Lighthouse, just outside of town. This is a very popular photo stop. As we come down the hill, we see the United States Coast Guard Station on the left. Up over the hill, the first thing one sees is the Woods Hole Steamship Authority, which is the lifeline to Martha's Vineyard and Nantucket. We head down Water Street and pass the popular Pie in the Sky Cafe, a local favorite. Woods Hole is an exciting seacoast town made up of fishermen, scholars, students and tourists all rolled up in one. We come to the restaurants and shops that all have beautiful views and the salty atmosphere that is Woods Hole. Just past the Woods Hole Oceanographic Facility, we come across the NOAA buildings and piers, which are the, the end of Water Street. We come back to the Bigelow Building with other school and research buildings all around us, where we will take a look out at the horizon and wait for the return of Atlantis. We take up a temporary position on top of the Bigelow Building and see that the island home is departing for Vineyard Haven. A very nice looking ferry. We now see the Atlantis coming up Vineyard Sound. This is the Atlantis' first trip home in over four years. The crew and the researchers have an appropriate rotation schedule and needless to say they are not away all the time with the vessel. The research vessels NOAA and Oceanus are both at sea at this time. Let's sit back and watch the welcome home and the ship tying up. We quickly go on board to check out Alvin in the hangar bay. A beautiful little craft with so much history behind it, it is breathtaking to stand on a vessel that has been next to the Titanic. Activity starts as the Atlantis will not be in port long once it drops off Alvin and heads back out for new research projects. There are ROVs also on ship to gather all kinds of specimens and data in the never-ending exploration of Earth's oceans.
In 2011, Alvin will begin two overhaul phases that will increase its diving depths and research capabilities. In October 2010, a panel discussion open to the public was held to talk about the past, present, and future plans for Alvin. This discussion was hosted by Dr. Susan Avery, President and Director of the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution. The past Alvin made its first dive in 1964 and has made 4,637 successful dives. The present Alvin conducts explorations around the world. The future for Alvin is the overhaul where it will be in two phases. Phase 1 will add a new titanium sphere which will have more room and comfort for the crew. It will also have more viewports to be able to see more while on the ocean floor. Phase 2 will be at a later date and will enable Alvin to dive to deeper depths and stay on the ocean floor for longer periods of time. So there you have a little bit about what is going on in the submersible Alvin's life. A look at Woods Hole and how exciting a place it is to visit. I highly recommend it. Special thanks goes out to my friend George Hampson, who is a oceanographer emeritus after 50 years at Woods Hole's Marine Biology Department and actually has dived on Alvin. Thanks, George. And also thanks goes out to the people I have run into at the Institute who have been very helpful and friendly.